you know what? I never show you all my little urban jungle where I'm also studying some of the uh, non-perennial cold sensitive plants or whatever. So today I am doing the sweet potato slips. Well, I'm only going to do some of them, the bigger ones, and then allow this to put out more, right? So that I can have start as many sweet potatoes as possible. And then I can actually take more cuttings from the vines after they get even bigger outdoors. So it's been a few weeks since I've been doing this. It's, I laid it on its side in this container next to this sunny window. I mean, look at all of these roots that I have. Yes. It's uh, been shedding some of those leaves, some of the leaves from the like, sweet potato vines. They drop leaves and stuff as they grow. This one did very, very well. So it's been keeping it in a shallow thing of water. This water looks so terrible now. I don't even feel like I should show y'all this. But there it is. It's just a potato salad thing. Oh, potato salad. My, my bad. My bad. Coleslaw thing. Or whatever. And we're, you know, reuse, recycle, some, some, whatever the words are. So anyways, that's what we have for this. I'm going to go put this sucker outside. And let it take wing hopefully because the weather has been so suspicious here in zone 7a i think in memphis or whatever so i'm just like i don't even know if it's hot enough to put these out yet but it's not supposed to drop below 60 tonight so i'm praying that with the cover of this little olive tree and under some tree colors that the atmosphere or whatever will be uh, warm enough to give it some protection at night so it can get started and I can have my sweet potato vines spreading all over my food forest because not only do I want some sweet potatoes but I also want to be able to take a, a lot of cuttings from those vines so I can start more and basically cover the entire food forest with sweet potato vines right so um what you do here is Oop. I see that set up on the tripod. So we just doing this savagely. Anyways, you see all of these vines. Help Jesus roots. This did, this thing did so good. My God. Look at he look. But anyways, you go in here. Oops, I'm gonna drop nope, dropped it. Okay. You just go in here and then you find a slip with plenty of roots on it. So I'm going to try one of these bigger ones, right? Ooh, my arm is all in the way. And let's see. Let go, buddy. Let go. Oh, I don't feel like I'm ready to come off. It's fighting. It said, not me. Choose one of them other suckers. Okay, one of you other suckers. Who's ready to be parted from the mom? Mm, see, that doesn't look that big. Yeah, see this? Well, the sweet potato itself is still pretty hard. So I think this method is good so you can get as many slips as possible. Because my other sweet potato is actually starting to soften and rot. So maybe I will flip. Actually, I could shove it in here with this. Oh, this is kind of tricky to do with one hand. But at the same time, like, oof. I guess I got to just be vicious. Heart, be free. Okay, this one this required a little bit more force than the other sweet potato. Okay, the little butt part is separated. Now we're gonna wiggle those little. Come on now, it's got a good rooty start. That's not a technical term. Okay, separate, wiggle, wiggle, pull, slip, slip, slip. Ta da! okay so now like i said i just really don't trust this weather so i don't want to pull all of these poor babies off and then just not be able to have any more purple sweet potatoes they these sweet potatoes were very um hefty like i don't know they're like thicker than some other sweet potatoes that i've had 
but they are beautiful they still taste like sweet potatoes so it's not like they taste weird what is this one of these little cat terrorists in here tearing up something because i don't know if anybody i know some of y'all got some cats y'all know cats just oof don't mind their business for nothing can't leave nothing out around cats oops so anyways those are the vines we're gonna go put these outside between some sugar cane um underneath some tree collards blah 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 you will get an update video so we can see how that process is going if they survive or uh, i'll tell you either way right so um put the sweet potato back so these are the purple sweet potato vines you can see all what color they are you know you can see the purple part right so when you get order slips or whatever this base part kind of tells you what color um your sweet potatoes will be because i did order um a variety pack um and this is what i have from this is a potato from last year's harvest that i'm re-sprouting so that i can have another harvest so they're cute i'm gonna upload this video so y'all can see this and i'll be back in a few weeks hopefully like and subscribe to keep up and stuff and make sure you hit the comments and stream my music and stuff so i can keep at it all right bye